Hi, I'm here at New Media Expo and I'm at the Boss Jock Studio. I've got something really cool to show you from the guys that create this app called Box Jock, which allows you to podcast completely from your iPad or iPhone. And I'm here with Dave to show us about Boss Jock. So, <laughs> yes, very awkward, Dave. So, Dave, tell me about Boss Jock. What, what's it do? Explain like how it works and everything. Boss Jock is a uh, podcast studio for your iPhone and your iPad, all iOS, and the idea is real-time production. So you do on-the-fly podcast production. The idea is you load up these virtual carts with your intro, your outro, your background music, singers, viewer feedback, and uh, you trigger it all in real time. The fades are all drawn in real time. It's compressed, it's loud, it's leveled. And when you're done recording, you have a finished, finalized, mastered podcast that you can blast off to via FTP or uh, SoundCloud or Dropbox in any number of formats, everything you need, MP3, M4A, WAF, AIF. So the idea is one-stop shopping and uh, you don't have to worry about post-production. You can just podcast, podcast more, and then podcast the next day and you don't worry about that, that pile of, of post-production that you have to do. So. Awesome, so let's see how the app actually works. All right. So, uh, this is the interface. Here we have the carts. This is the master fader, and this is the mic trigger. Now, this seems a little weird, but in order to bring the mic live, you actually hit this mic trigger, and you're hearing that right now. Now, if you get sick of holding the mic trigger, you can lock the mic, but there's a reason why we do this. There's a trick. So, here are the, car here are the carts. I'm going to play a little track here. Let's see. We'll pick Beach Blast. So I can be, hey everybody, how you doing? This is Dave Man's Waiter. You're listening to the Boss Jock Radio Report. And now all these cards, they have auto fades on them. So if I want to switch up music, let's go to something a little bit more exciting. Top news story, news break. NMX 2013. Daniel J. Lewis wins podcast awards chosen by the people. So all these carts, as you can see, I'm gonna lock the mic here. All the carts, I'm gonna kill this one early, boom, the fade's out. You can load these carts from your music library. You can load them from uh, your Dropbox. You can audio paste from another application. I love, there's so many cool music apps on iOS now. So you can make a little ditty. Let's see, here's a ditty I made. And I loaded this in from another application called uh, Impactor, it's a drum app. And I just bought in a little loop and I can loop it. And this is now a music bed for me. So how many carts can you have in this? In carts, you can have what's uh, five times four. So 20 here, or if you uh, set it up, you can actually actually have up to 35 carts here. So it's a pretty full-size soundboard. Or 35 uh, individual sounds, you're saying? Yep. Okay. Exactly. We'll show you the load screen. That's the, uh, let's see, I'll do this. Lock it. That's the load screen, so music library, recordings, Dropbox. You can set it over Wi-Fi, and you can audio paste. Now the trick is when you're when you're recording, everything you're hearing in your headphones is what's actually being laid down to a two track. So uh, the microphone itself, you can hear it, if we play with the gain, it's actually it's never gonna distort because we're we're applying compression and limiting. So uh, you know, the idea is you get this mastered, already processed loud stuff. So now you hear the microphone, you hear the background music. We switch to our closing song, which I'm gonna put a fade on. So long, folks. So now I'm done recording. I slide to uh, finish the recording. Here's the name. I don't know if you're picking me up here. And, and uh, this is the recording you just heard. Oh, this guy. So we can that. Boom. When you're recording, everything you're hearing in your headphones is what's actually being laid down to a two track. So, uh, the mic. So then once we've, I mean, what you what you got here is uh, you have all of the hardware equipment in software in one program. The compression, yeah. the limiting, the gating, the yep. the soundboard, all of that. And this is just a single iPad running all of this. And right now we're um, you're using a, which mic is this? This is the Apogee mic, which is two hundred bucks. But the the dirty secret is the the built-in mic on the iPad and especially the iPhone sounds fantastic. So really, all you need for the studio for this studio setup is a cheap pair of $20 headphones that don't have a microphone built in, so it does, and allows you to continue to record with the mic here. And you've got a great studio ready to go. And uh, 
our angle is we're trying to do post, you know, lots of production, no PCs, no Macintoshes. We're trying to live in the future here a little bit with mobile devices. But uh, you might want to see the export screen there. There's all your options, MP3, M4A, WAVE, and you can blast it off to FTP. FTP it to your podcast host, send it to SoundCloud, email it to AudioBoo, send it to your Dropbox so that people can do further production or editing if they need it to. But that's about it. Yeah, we try to make things as simple as possible. Podcasting, nice. no post-production, all on iOS. And this works on which iOS devices? 3GS iPad, iPad 2, so all the way back to the, the original iPad and the 3GS. And that's Ed right there. Ed is the master mastermind behind the engine <laughs> and the development of Boss Jack Studio. Very hard at work, He's I can tell. He's getting his gazelle. <laughs> There's the programming corner. So nice. Working hard to keep the updates coming. So how much is this app uh, normally? Normally it's $10, $9.99. There's a special, which you guys are probably going to miss out on. We were doing a half off for NMX, but you know, occasionally, occasionally we'll do sales, but usually it's about $10. Bucks. We think we think it's worth it, and we hope you think so too. Awesome. Well, this has been at New Media Expo, and I'm Daniel J. Lewis reviewing Box Jock here for you. And if you want to learn more, go to theaudacitypodcast.com slash boxjock, where I'll have a link where you can purchase this too for your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, uh, your iPad Mini, anything like that. All of those iOS devices and podcasts so easily from one device. That is awesome. Dave, you and your team have done an awesome job here. Thank you, Dan. And uh, I, I would look forward to what our community will be able to do with your product. So thank you, everyone, for watching. Be sure to check out theaudacitypodcast.com slash boxjock to purchase and also learn more.